What do Samsung DVD players, Crest teeth whitening strips, and Boeing refueling tankers have in common? They were all developed using the same method for innovative design. Innovators push the envelope of design and engineering every day, creating new products to meet the needs of people all around the world. But where does this innovation come from? Many innovators, engineers, and inventors have embraced a systematic approach, like the TRIZ method. This is a powerful problem-solving technique that allows its users to find novel solutions to complex problems in a consistent, repeatable way. Developed by Genrik Ausschüller in the 1940s, TRIZ is a powerful problem-solving methodology that aims to overcome contradictions and inspire innovation. Genrik Ausschüller was a Soviet inventor and engineer who recognized the need for a systematic approach to problem-solving. He analyzed thousands of patents and discovered that successful inventions often followed certain patents and principles. Ausschiller's vision was to create a comprehensive problem-solving system that could help people solve problems and generate inventive solutions in a structured and repeatable way. This led to the development of TRIZ, which, in Russian, stands for Theory of Inventive Problem Solving. TRIZ was designed to tackle the most challenging problems that traditional problem-solving methods couldn't easily address. It provides a systematic framework to overcome contradictions and finds innovative solutions by leveraging the knowledge and experiences of inventors from various fields. A key concept in TRIZ is ideality. It aims to achieve the ideal state of a system, where all customer requirements are met with zero harmful side effects using minimal resources. This concept drives engineers and designers to think creatively about how to optimize the performance and efficiency of a system. Rather than a lofty goal of creating universally perfect designs, TRIZ sets a goal of creating ideal solutions for particular problems. A designer could create the perfect office chair, but if you were to try to use it as an ejection seat, it probably wouldn't work out so well. Ideality juggles the needs of the project with human and environmental considerations by solving the contradictions of the problem at hand. By striving for ideality, designers and engineers can create more efficient, effective, and sustainable solutions to complex problems. The core of TRIZ lies in its problem-solving process. It begins by defining the problem clearly and analyzing it to identify any contradictions within the system or product. These contradictions are often competing factors that need to be resolved for a successful solution. To address these contradictions, TRIZ offers a matrix of inventive principles. This matrix consists of 40 principles that have been derived from studying numerous successful inventions across different industries. Each principle is linked to specific parameters commonly found in problem-solving situations. These contradictions and solutions are generalized to accommodate a wide range of situations. For example, filaments generate light when an electrical current passes through them, but this causes them to quickly break down from the heat. The light bulb was born from the discovery that sealing the filament in a vacuum kept the filament from overheating. If TRIZ was around in the 19th century, it likely wouldn't have taken over 70 years to resolve this contradiction. There are many prominent innovators using the TRIZ methodology, with many outside of Russia adopting the practice following the collapse of the Soviet Union. Intel, Motorola, NASA, Ford, and many more are noted users with major R&D investment. One organization particularly proud of their use of this model is Samsung. They brought in R&D talent from Russia in the late 90s who came with knowledge of the TRIZ system. By the early 2000s, TRIZ had become a core element of their R&D process. In 2003, Samsung credited TRIZ for 50 patents. In 2004, TRIZ-based innovation resulted in a DVD technology patent that saved Samsung over $100 million. Codifying and translating TRIZ to the Korean language, Samsung made training with the TRIZ methodology mandatory for its engineers. The systemic approach allows Samsung to cut down R&D expenditure per innovation by reducing false leads and competing design teams. Each department, from screens to washing machines, makes extensive use of the TRIZ methodology. With a staggering array of patents under their belt, the approach has worked remarkably well for them since its adoption. Here at PatSnap, we're big believers in the TRIZ method. While creating our new product Eureka, our team used TRIZ to develop patent DNA a way to break down and summarize patents to be more easily read by engineers. Patent DNA is designed to make patents more accessible to R&D teams, allowing them to focus on innovating rather than passing legal documents. While the TRIZ system matrix of inventive principles is a powerful tool, it doesn't provide solid answers on which principle to use. Instead, the matrix is a flexible guide that encourages users to think creatively about how to apply the principles to their specific problem. Artschiller is quoted as saying, TRIZ is a tool for strong thinking, but not instead of thinking. To put it simply, TRIZ is a tool meant to frame problem-solving situations. It is designed to be applied as universally as possible, but it still requires the user to determine which of the proposed principles will be most ideal for their contradiction and how to go about implementing the solution. 
So that's Triz in a nutshell. By applying the principles and tools of Triz, you can develop innovative solutions to your problems and create products and systems that meet the needs of customers while minimizing waste and environmental impact. If patents, intellectual property, and innovation are of interest to you, please subscribe for more exciting content.